Hey guys, what's going on? This is Blipkicks here, and welcome back to another episode of Mostly Torchlight 2. Um, as you can see, I got, uh, actually I'm wearing some bronze armor from the last, uh, that I made up the last time that we were cooking in the old smeltery. And I've done, oh, whoops, grabbing stuff out of the, out of the tor torches that I shouldn't, and by torches I mean barrels. Let me pick that, this, yeah, watch this, yeah, pick that back up. We'll turn around, it will point at it, and we'll click, click. I think I actually got it back in there. Um, I was going to show you something real quick here before we go and take care of what yes those are my those are my eyes those are my eyeballs I thought can I not oh there we go yeah this is what I wanted to show you guys check out this hallway did just a tiny little bit of work here in the hallway and I really like the way this turned out just a little bit of cobblestone chiseled up we got uh, some big tiles and then um, some smaller tiles mixed in with the cobble and then different types of chiseled iron blocks mixed in with the steps just kind of lead right up here into the smeltery I, I really like the way that this this turned out in here but we are getting out of building mode for the, for the next little bit here and we're gonna jump out of our hovel and if you recall our last episode we have got a problem, and that problem is lurking outside our doorways in the form of the taint. And I've done a little bit of little bit of research, just enough to find out if there's anything we can do about it. And the answer is yes. There, we can do some stuff about it, but it involves going and finding silverwood trees. Now I think I know where there are some silverwood trees. Um, oh boy, it's spread all the way up here. Look at this. Alright, let's go check. I actually want to go check this stuff out. And the silverwood trees, if we plant them, are supposed to be able to cure the taint and make things better for us. Now, I remember these little particles. They came and attacked us the last time. Oh man, these tentacles are tough. What do we get out of that? Tainted goo. Oh, I think I grabbed this stuff before. And yeah, that ha Oh no. Crap. And that tainted goo will actually poison you. If you hold on to it. I'm going to get rid of that. Let's go check it. Let's go check out down a little bit further. I want to see. Just... What some of these other things are. Okay, so we've seen the floaty particles and how those attack us. We've seen... Ow! Ow! What? Ow! Where is it? Get! Oh, it's right there. Get out of here! The taint swarms. Oh! Oh! A heart! Oh, yep. Yeah, there we go. Daggummit. Tainted goo has infected us with taint. Oh, it didn't last very long. That's good. Oh, but it gave us a heart. Part of low-level heart canisters can be eaten to restore... Well, I think we want to use those low-level heart canisters. I haven't seen those. That's pretty cool. All right, what is... Now, this stuff I think I've stepped in underground. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. No good. No good. What the heck is this? Taint spore. Ah! Oh! Da! Ah! Oh. Oh. oh! oh, I hate I hate spiders. Okay. Enough of this. Enough of this mess. So, it's actually grown quite a bit here. We take a look, and I think, is that an infected pig? Oh, for real? Oh! Oh, he hurts, too. Look out. Oh, gnarly. That's terrible. 
infecting our livestock. Yeah, we've got to get rid of this stuff. Man, it is all the way out to the edge. Oh, I wish I'd known about this stuff earlier. Oh, here comes another one of those swarms. Okay, so what we have got to do is somehow, somewhere... Oh, what's, what's this? Eh, whatever. Somehow, somewhere, find silverwood trees. And then plant those. And that should take care of some of our taint. I should actually, that's actually, what is, oh man, it's right up in here. Get, get wrecked. Get out of my face. All right, we got to, come on, one more time. I think the knockback is actually knocking the whole taint swarm back, which is pretty funny. So, and while we're doing that, that gives us a little chance to just kind of chat a little bit, but let's bring up Nope, that's not the map button. See, it's been too long since I've even since I've played. That's not the map button. There we go. That's the map button. We should be able to zoom out just a little bit. And that. Oh come on. Oh, dissolving taint tendril. How is that fair? Okay, I guess you shouldn't hold on to any of that stuff. Lesson learned. All right, we're gonna. Oh oh. Okay, yeah, we survived jump down into that now I haven't been getting episodes out as quickly as I would like to get them out um, and really what that comes down to is just time it has been crazy busy this summer works picked up there's been a lot of stuff going on and a lot of stuff taking my time plus it's summer the grass is growing lots of housework to do and I just haven't been able to get the motivation to sit down and play and I really want to put together you know a nice episode that hopefully is a little entertaining um, so I don't just want to like sit down and record a big thing of me placing blocks and like here's a here's how to make a square because that's about all I know how to build in Minecraft right now um, so what that has turned into is just only getting an episode out every other week or so. But I still want to be able to get them out. And just getting them out like this, it's a little bit intimidating almost. Because by the time I get one out, then I feel a little bit rusty. And I'm not entirely certain about uh, you know whether it's going to be a good one or how I'm going to go about talking. Oh, hey, this place. What I'm going to, you know, get the chance to talk about and where I'm going to pick up and if I'll remember where I left off and does everybody has everybody just given up on me? But anywho, that's uh, just kind of the way that things are going. It's busy. Summer summertime's busy. It's outside. I like to play outside and uh go swimming, go play volleyball and have a have a good time so that's kind of why the episodes have been a bit fewer and further between the last few weeks than they have been up to this point and something new that i started up this week with my wife is ben oh hey look at these look at this big old great tree over here that's not a silverwood tree but it's a big one and I think that these ones have, they spawn bad things, but underneath, they have, uh, yeah. If we get underneath it fast enough, I think. Or maybe it's not one of these trees. Yeah, it's a great wood tree, all right. Oh, and it doesn't get all cut down in one. Oh, there it goes. Boom, see ya. There's a whole bunch of wood. Um, but anyway, what I was saying before we came across this guy here. Ordinarily, there, I think there's supposed to be a, a, a treasure chest underneath the trees. But it doesn't look like that came to be this time. Oh, it's going to be nighttime soon. 
I hope that doesn't become an issue. Well, we got enough. We should be okay. Oh, hey. There's a village over there. Sweet. Okay, let's bring up the map. Zoom out. That was interesting. Um, and I think I'm going to continue going to the west. We're going to see what comes of that. Although, going that direction is kind of tempting. But it's just a whole lot of hills, and I don't feel like trying to climb up all that stuff. So we will continue to go to the west here and see what we come up with. Oh, spiders are out. That's okay. Look at all these sheep. Oh my goodness. I couldn't, I couldn't find sheep to save my life not too long ago. They're all right there. Um, so one of the things that I, uh, has kept kept me a little bit busy is my wife and I are planning on hiking the Grand Canyon coming up next year. Uh, sometime, sometime late next May is the plan. So late May, maybe early June which gives us approximately less than a year to get into enough good enough shape so that you can we can hike down one side of the Grand Canyon and back up the other and for those of you who don't know that is I want to say it's like I want to say it's like 4000 feet in elevation change um, like you start it 7,000 feet in the air on one rim and you go down to something like 3,000. Oh, maybe this maybe this was maybe this was a poor idea. Maybe this was a very poor idea. Oh man, they're Oh, what? Get bent. Out of my face. Holy schmoles. I do not like this. I don't like this desert. This must be like desert oasis or something. I don't know what the deal with this is. Um, but yeah, it's over the course of like three or four, three or four days. Um, but even at that, ooh, this looks promising. This looks very promising. Um, but you go down and you camp at the at the basin. Oh yeah, this looks very promising. Except for the part where there's a million and a half witches right there. That is not so good. That is not as good. Yeah. But these are these are silver wood trees. Magic wood. Oh no, she sees us. She knows about us. Let's just yeah. Get wrecked. Get dead. Yeah. We can we can do this. Oh, we got another one on us. Where? Oh, right there. I see you. What? Oh, we got a zombie. Zomber, get get out of here! Oh, dug on it. Oh, we got another one on us too. This is seeming to be poorly advised. I think I might die out here. That poison is hurting me. If anybody so much as sneezes on me, I'm gonna die. Well, let's take this wood out here. The magic wood, unfortunately, doesn't do us any good. We need this. We need the saplings. I don't know if it's the magic wood or if it's the. We actually have to get silver wood, which I think is actually a little bit different. Sure, it's pretty though. It sparkles. It sparkles. But doing a hike like that is something that uh, my wife and I have often talked about doing, but never actually got around to doing. And we have the have the chance coming up here, so we're really excited to start training for that. Which we've got a year to get into shape, but that is a that's a lot of elevation work. Um, that's a lot of uh, actually having to get <laughs> stupid. And now I'm going to have creepers creeping up on me when I can't see. Um, it's a lot of having to get gear and stuff like that too um, 
we have always talked about how cool it would be to do day hikes and stuff like that but never done anything about it and so we have like no day hiking gear no backpacks um we've got like one portable tent that might be ah which um might be kind of useful but it's still pretty heavy to have to pack in and back out um you really want to be as light as you can um going in and out going in and out of the grand canyon oh you know all about us don't you yeah, too bad you're dead. Oh, hey, whoa, look out. <sighs> I'm going to end up with all kinds of glowstone doing this. Look at that. Um, oh, okay, here we go. Sapling. And what kind of sapling is it? Magic sapling. That is not the right kind of sapling. Hmm. All right. Yeah, maybe we need to keep a looking then. I don't I don't know where to where to look, truth be told. Oh look at that, there's taint everywhere in here. Yeesh. So that's pretty exciting for us. I'm very excited, and I will probably talk a little bit about how our training progress ooh, pretty, is going and how we're, how we're dealing with the difficulty of all the, all the training work and hard work that we're doing. But uh, something else that I was hoping, man, there are just witches everywhere. This is bad, bad, bad. This is a bad place. This is a bad place. We shouldn't be in here. I mean, one more hit, one more hit, and I'm dead, and I've got... Yeah. Yeah, like that. What? What? Where am I? Am I? Am I at the very beginning? I think I might be close. Oh, man. Oh, no. I think I might be back at the very beginning. I might be back at spawn. And our base is a very long way away. And I have no food. Yeah, that's exactly where I am. Because there's the... Uh, oh, come on. Give me a break. Because there is... Uh... What? Oh. Yeah, there's the flower fields. Oh, remember remember the first episode? How many times I died here? It's going to be a repeat. A three-peat. Get dead. I have an arrow. I cannot defend myself with an arrow. Oh, this is... This is bad. I tell you what, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to take a... Yeah, I'm going to have to figure out... Figure something out here. So give me a give me a minute or two. <laughs> you know what? That is part of what I kind of like about playing this game, especially and recording it at the same time, is that you never really know what's going to happen. <clears throat> like you can start out with the best with the best plan in the whole wide world, and then the next thing you know, you're dead, and you're trying to figure out why on earth the mystical magic wood that you found with the sparkly leaves doesn't help. And the truth that you find out is that this sparkly wood is not the right kind of sparkly wood. This is magic wood, which is not silver wood.
And this is a mystic grove, evidently, that spawns lots of bad things and is not a magical forest. So a mystic grove, very different from magical forest. And grow flower, very much not what we want. Yeah, see? Evil water, bad stuff. We do not want mystic grove. What we want is magical forest. Yeah, yeah. You hear that? Look at them. Not even messing with that this time. Get out of here. We we're able to get... I was able to go and get all, all of my stuff back, so that's good. But I've got no idea. Hey, look. It's like I've been here before. Really? You're going to follow me all the way over here? Get wrecked. Get out of my face. No, nope, don't even throw that at me. Oh, in the face. In the face again. Wow. I need to enchant this bow. Holy smokes. We need to find a magical forest. And I, I, I don't think I've seen one. I have run over a pretty big section of this world so far. Um just to find the spot that we have and I'm pretty sure that I have not found any magical forests so this might take a bit of time but um, we've we've got to find it without uh, without that magical forest and without these flowers that spawn and what the heck is this um, Without the flowers that spawn in the shade that grows beneath the silverwood trees, uh, we're not going to be able to contain that taint. That is the that is the only way to do it. Oh, I'm, I'm right back at spawn. Um, that's the only way to do it, um, is to use that flower. And I can't remember what the, na what the name of it is off the top of my head. But it's a special flower, grows in the magical forest, gotta have it. Um in order to be able to halt the growth of the taint. So, I, oh no, I'm in quicksand. Or dead swamp or something. Um, so, I guess I'm just going to have to run around the world and find some. And hopefully I'll be able to find it soon. We will see.